Welcome to Retro Box Breaks. This is a channel that opens baseball card boxes from the 80s and 90s. And today we're going to be opening a box of 1991 Tops. If, uh, if this is the type of stuff you like watching, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button in the bottom right hand to make sure that uh, you see all the videos uh, we're going to be doing in the future. Uh, this particular box, the big hit, of course, is the uh, Chipper Jones rookie card. Interestingly, there are a few errors in here that uh, I'm also going to be looking for. There's a Don Mattingly and a Mark McGuire error that's a statistical error on the back. And then there's a Mark Witten error that uh, um, has his hand going out of the border of the card. So maybe we'll get super lucky and uh, see, see some of those. But the big hit here is going to be the um, the Chipper Jones. Let's let's rip into this thing here. And the uh, the old tops boxes have the uh, the cards on them. On the bottom, I think this one might have an interesting one on the bottom. I seems like I remember. Let's take a look. Ah, there we go. Got us a uh, George Brett there on the bottom. Kind of neat. All right, so we have uh, 36 packs. Let's get ripping into these. Since my camera only works for about 30 minutes in the setup I have here. Uh, these slices of gum in there uh, make it a little bit harder to, to work with. They all stack straight up. It looks like the back card is going to be completely shot on all of these. Is that two Alan? Alan Trummel back to back. <laughs> Frank Robinson, manager card, man. All right, nothing too exciting out of the first one. Pack number two. Ricky Henderson, there's a nice one. Off to a slow start here, not really seeing a whole lot of cards that are super interesting. Ah, oh, there's a Don Mattingly. So there on this card is uh, his 1990 number of hits. If it says 10, it is the error. So let's take a look at that. 1990 hits says 101. So that's correct. This is the corrected one. This is not the error.
these uh these uh 1991 cards definitely bring back a lot of memories um around that time i was down in uh fort sill oklahoma area and my parents got me some of the 1991 tops desert shield packs for christmas i only had a couple of them and i was a young kid so all the cards are beat to beat up and and all that stuff so the cards aren't really worth much i didn't get a chip or anything um but uh, it's still very exciting very cool i remember for a lot of years i'd ask people about those cards they wouldn't know what they were and uh, of course now everybody knows what they are but uh still have a few of those sitting on the shelf Just tossing off that last card because most of them have the gum stuck to them. Tom Glavin. Well, here we are. I feel like we're about a third of the way through the box here, maybe a quarter. Maybe a quarter of the way through the box. Not a whole lot going on here. That's Cal Ripken Jr. Right there. Let's see what that last card is that got destroyed. Particularly interesting. Record breaker, Cal Ripken Jr. Oh man, that card got beat up. Sparky Anderson. Greg Biggio. Do they have odds on these packs? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. 1991, I guess they still weren't putting odds on packs yet. Of course, I don't know what the odds it would be in the set. There aren't any insert cards, so. Juan Gonzalez. There you go. It's one of my favorites. Actually, we'll pull him out. Ah, there we go. That's a young looking Steve Avery right there. Let's see what the gum card is. Tony Martinez. Tino Martinez. When is Steve Avery's rookie here? Oh, this might be it. Bobby Bonilla. Well, we're definitely over a quarter of the way through the box now. Still looking for that Chipper Jones. I've had one opportunity to, oh, look at that. He turned a set of cards. I'm very superstitious. I always think that's a good sign when you get stuff that's all turned around like that. We'll have to see here.
No, nothing particularly interesting. Starting to get a little worried now. Getting up in in the number of packs here. Well, you figure what are there? 15 cards per pack, 36 packs. So that's uh, 490 cards out of, I think there's over 700 in here. So. Definitely not a one per box situation for that Chipper Jones. Let's hope we get lucky on that. Carlton Fisk. Cal Ripken Jr., there's a nice card. Julio Franco, except for that's John Franco. <laughs> So this is one of the cards I definitely have in the Desert Shields. Definitely brings back some memories there. All right. Let's see who the gum card is. Jay Howell. Bo Jackson, there we go. It's another nice card. Yeah, I wonder how many people pull that Chipper Jones and it's got a piece of gum stuck to it. That would not be good. And the gum card is Mike Sitzer, Seitzer, Mike Seitzer, I guess. King Griffey Jr. All-Star, There's a, that is a nice card right there. Sweet. Happy with that one. Daryl Strawberry. And the gum card is another guy I never heard of. Daryl Strawberry once again. After this one, we have two more packs till we hit the halfway point of the box. Which it looks like I need to pick up the pace a little bit here because we're at about the 15 minute mark. More grace. All right. Let's see if we can't rip through these quick, fast, and in a hurry. Definitely want to get done before the camera cuts out. Every time I see one of those slices of gum, I'm like, ah, man, I want a piece of gum. Don't do it, people. Don't do it. I did it once in like uh, in '92. I bought a pack of '85 or '84 tops. Ate the piece of gum out of it. It was a bad decision. 
All right, here we go, halfway mark. Chipper Jones right there. There we go. That is a winner. Look at that. That is a nice, nice card. Man. There we go. That's the big hit right there. Tony Gwynn. Billy Ripken. Man. I don't know why, but I really like that card. That is a nice card. It's one of the... Oh, wait. Oh, we have a potential here. It's all about It's all about Mark Witten's hand over here. If we can see it, then this is the error. If we can't, then it is not the error. Ah, it is not the error. Man, that got me excited though. So on the air, his hand here on this left side actually goes outside of the frame onto the white part. So anybody who's looking for those types of things, Jose Canseco. So, let's see here. Randy Johnson, he's always a cool one to get. Nolan Ryan. Love me some Nolan Ryan. I, I was actually lucky enough to go to one of his last games in Texas. There's a Ben McDonald. Not quite his rookie card. Frank Viola. Ventura. Man. Reading is not my strong suit, I guess. Steve Sachs, Barry Bonds All-Star, So at this point, we're looking for the um, Mark McGuire, see if it possibly has the error, though because we didn't get errors on the first couple, I'd, I find that probably pretty unlikely. Um, and then of course, maybe we'll get lucky and get a second chipper. I do have a theory about... Uh, Duplication in a lot of these old card sets. I find that when I get one, a lot of times I get two. Not all the time. Looked like the focus had gone, gotten out of focus a little bit there.
Ken Griffey Jr. regular card. That is sweet. Man, that's a great card. Love that card. Not worth a lot of money, but uh, still super iconic in my mind for whatever reason. Raphael Palmero, Wade Boggs. Looks like this in this year they like to take a lot of pictures uh, to look up at the player. Frank Thomas. Oh, that's a nice one. And that is quite nice. Very sweet. Getting to about three quarters of the way through the box here. Still looking for that Mark McGuire. Has anybody ever won one of these instant uh, tops games? If you have, put a comment in the uh, put something in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see if anybody ever won any of those. Sammy Sosa. I'm going to have to keep start going through these a little bit quicker. It looks like my time's running down. Got about uh, five minutes left on the old camera. David Justice, there you go. Man, this box has really, uh, really gotten quiet here in the last few packs.
Kurt Schilling. I believe we uh, pulled his rookie card in the 89 Don Russ video. You guys want to check that one out? And this one's all twisted up. Fred McGriff. Crime Dog. Ah, there we go. Greg Maddox. This is a favorite for me. It's another one of them. Another one of the cards that I have out of that. Um, Desert Shield stuff. Of course, mine has basically rounded corners because, you know, that's what kids do. Still very cool. George Brett. Seen this one once before on the back of the box. All right, then we're down to three packs here. Three more chances at striking lightning with a second Chipper Jones. Maybe we'll see a Mark McGuire have a shot at a Air McGuire. So Larry Walker. Jose Uribe, he's popular on eBay. <laughs> All right, last two packs here. last pack the last pack Well, there it is, everybody. Box of 1991 tops opened.